Hi everyone. I'm going to show you class calc. In particular, I'm going to show you uh, linear regression, correlation coefficient, and coefficient of determination, and how you uh, find those things on class calc. Okay, so the first thing you want to do uh, when you turn this on, uh, sometimes you got to click on the scientific button over here on the right, click on graphing, and you have this right here. If you don't have the keyboard, sometimes you have to bring it up. There's uh, double arrows here on the left or on the right. And then that brings up the graph, what, what you're going to, uh, the expressions that you're going to type, and then the keyboard. All right, so let's press on the add button. I'm going to do a table. Now, this is binomial data, right? So we have two variables. And when we're doing correlation coefficient or regression, you know, we usually have X and Y, independent, dependent variables. Okay, so let's type in some numbers. I don't know, like 1.2. It doesn't really matter. We're just typing away a few numbers. Okay. Oh, let's go with something like this. And then we have other numbers for y. Okay. All right. Man, this is a very hard problem, isn't it? It has decimals. But decimals are your friends. Okay. You notice that I didn't press the enter button until now so that it can do everything it needs to. Right? Make it all nice and compressed. If you touch the graph over here, you know, move it up and down, it seems like this area goes away. Um, you can make this smaller, make this larger, right? So all the data points are there. Uh, is this a positive trend? It could be, we'll find out when we do the calculation. Okay, so we're gonna press or we're gonna click on that area right there. Let's look for the correlation coefficient and the regression. It usually does it both at the same time. Click on stat, click on advanced, click on linear reg. Okay, the table has x1 and y1, right? So it's looking for x1, y1. These are the x, y keys right here. This is x, and then we gotta type one. So that's x1. And then we go over to the next one. Uh, we get there. Ah, there we go. Nope. There we go. And then we click on Y. One. Okay. And the calculation is right here. And if you move this a little bit, the keyboard will go away. All right. So you got Y equals, fortunately it's not Y hat. And they should change that because remember in regression, um, when we use Y hat, it says that we're using regression um, techniques. So here we got uh, 0 0.056, right? That's the slope. And then uh, 0 0.296 is the y-intercept. So we got that straightened out. You can see that it has a positive slope. So thus it has a positive um, correlation coefficient, which is 0.7681. Okay. And then you got r square, which is the correlation of determination, which talks about fit, right? Uh, some classes have that. So that number is available for you too. That's pretty neat, isn't it? <clears throat> it's able to calculate these things for you. Okay, so sometimes um, they ask you to uh, use very large formulas, right? The correlation coefficient formula has a bunch of sums, or sometimes the linear regression has sums, or you're using alternative forms uh, for the uh, linear regression, right? And then even the uh, correlation of determination they might have some sums as well. So where do we find that? That's easy. Click on the tap to add expression. Go back to stat. Uh, click on advanced one more time. And see on the bottom over here, it says two variable stats. So click on that. Cool. Uh, and now it takes you right here, right? It says two variable stats. Which two variables? Yes. X1, right? Let's see if I can do this. There you go and then y1. Ah, look at that, it did it. So um, 
you click here, right? You just move it up and down. That takes away the keyboard, apparently. And look at that. Isn't that pretty neat? You got sum of x, sum of x squared, sum of y, sum of y squared. All those are used for your correlation, uh, correlation coefficient. That's pretty neat. Sx, uh, sy for alternative forms. If you're looking, if you're looking at the um, uh, regression, and some of these um, uh, videos, will you'll look at uh, something that comes up right here, right on the top, um, a card, right. So you can click on that, so you can watch those videos. Uh, and then you got x bar and y bar. Uh, to find the y-intercept if you're doing some alternative form for the uh, y-intercept. And then the sum of x, y. That's pretty neat, right? So that you can use it for, like, for example, correlation coefficient. And then n is equal to 5. What's that? That's right. That's the number of pairs, number of pairs, in this case, uh, 5. Very, very nice, isn't it? And this will stay very nicely. You can click on uh, tap and then... You can definitely go and move. Um, you can add another table. So on a, on a TI-84 or an 83, you, know, you only have six, what, six columns. Um, and this one, you have unlimited columns. Another cool thing also, if you go back over here, you can uh, adjust the problem very easily. Graph will adjust, okay? And then also these values of the y-intercept, uh, the slope, the correlation coefficient, the, the regression line, correlation of determination, all that will change, and all your sums uh, and everything else. That's pretty neat, okay? So if you have any questions, uh, please ask. If uh, you really like this video, give it a thumbs up, um, subscribe to the channel, and um, I hope you're well. All right, be safe. Bye-bye.